this poem is a hymn to Banaras. Kashi, Banaras, Varanasi, O holy city, O throbbing pulse of serenity, into your arms sublime they come, the traveler, the seeker, the seer. Only upon the blessed though you bestow your benediction. In the crimps of your lanes they submerge, the saint and the sinner, the living and the almost dead. Some will lose their hearts, some their lives, some their senses, some shall beget an altered state, some shall inhabit an altered space, as each of them tread the wormhole to eternity. I have come to Benares. I wake to the sound of bells ushering in a moonbeam dawn. The afternoon is a champaka yellow, the evening a hibiscus red. The firmament's tone echo the flowers that adorn Vishwanath, Lord of the Universe. When dusk dawns, it is time for veneration, for consecration of the Ganga, light and fire, honor their sown enemy, water. I have come to Benares, a seeker of solace. I am here to commune with the Eternal One, to bathe infinity with a cup full of water, anoint with ash, sprinkle flowers, and signal my surrender. I have come to Benares, a mendicant with matted locks, an ash-smeared skin with an emaciated body, and the most revered, the dreaded Agori. Hear to hear Shiva's whisper, witness his dance on the pyre. Of what significance the funeral, when life and death are both ephemeral? I have come to Benares to witness the mighty Ganga, to dwell and delve into her pulsating waves. Whither will I go with my sins, if not to purge in your waters, the cleansing amniotic waters that births new life, even as it liberates the dead. To Benares I come, to sit at the guards that millions have tread, and a million more await their turn. The serene Ganga flows on, in the crowds and noise, amid the splashing, dunking, bathing bodies, I experience her silence. She is the purge, the panacea, the ungrudging mother who heals. All earnest prayers she heeds, she yields. In Benares, I am what I am, a free spirit. Lauding my every breath, I sense my timeless ties with eternity.